Thank you. Here you go. Sir, appreciate it. Enjoy. Oh my God. That was amazing. The sets, the costumes, the music. I felt like I was actually at the Moulin Rouge. Didn't you love it? I did, though I did have a little bit of uh, difficulty paying attention because I had a very pretty girl sitting next to me who I kept stealing glances at. Well, I'm definitely not as exciting as the can-can. Well, I would disagree to me, you are. Mm, I'm not sure Toulouse-Lautrec would agree. Well, it made me happy to see you so happy. Couldn't take my eyes off you. Well, how can I be anything but happy? I'm in an incredible city with the most incredible guy. Who's incredibly hungry. What do you think? <laughs> I'm starving. What a beautiful night. Thank you, Spencer. There was no reason to thank me. All I did was place a few phone calls, one to the hotel, another to the restaurant, and then to the ticket concierge. It's not a big deal. Well, though everything has been wonderful, I'm not talking about the reservations. I know how hard it is for you to get away. And you have to deal with Esme and be there for Ace. And I just want to let you know how grateful I am that you made time for us. Well, I love us. Me too. And I love you, Spencer Cassidyne. So very much. I do not believe you. What? That I'm in love with you? You better no, believe no, 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 it. No, 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 no. It took you so long to say it. I was just professing my love to you back in the hotel room, and then you didn't say anything back, so I just assumed that. That you... I didn't feel the same way? I didn't know. Why didn't you say anything back then? Well, I learned a thing or two from Aunt Stella. She said, good things come to those who wait. Okay, well, I would have waited an eternity to hear you say those words, and I'm so glad that you finally did. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not exactly the most patient person in the world, Trina. Oh, no. You? <laughs> what are you thinking about, Spencer? How oh, I am the luckiest guy in the world. I've loved you for so very long, Trina. Since the day that I met you. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? We've certainly been through a lot since then. Just the way you say my name. Trina! <laughs> Thank you for catching me, Mr. Cassidy. Well, I'll always be there to catch you, Miss Robinson. You make me catch my breath. I knew the night we met. I was never leaving. They're beautiful. Every time I look at those figurines, I think about how much I missed you last Christmas. Just like these two doves, we are a matched pair. We belong together. Do I make your life better or just harder? Seems like you're there for me when it's important. You no, know, it seems like I'm always the one who is uh, getting you into dangerous situations. Well, that's OK. I wouldn't change it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yet to come.